Don't tread on me Those are words that I stand by, homie It doesn't mean I'm gangster, it doesn't mean I'm country It means that my life is in my hands only I don't have money for security I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me You don't think I deserve protection like you do And that means you don't give a fuck about me Gated community, that's what you live in Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in So come down here and hang with us for a minute See if you leave with the same fucking opinion Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? Nah, me, motherfucker I'm the only one that's got my back it's dog eat dog, these are not no cats There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls Cause the cars ain't got no gas Great, police don't have any fuel You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them The babies are starving, my girlfriend can't find a tampon And yet somehow you and I are the problem somehow. I've never brought a gun without having my background scanned and approved The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run It's funny, the people that say that shit have literally never even shot one Dumbass Hey man Matthew McConaughey Shut the fuck up Just cause you've murdered people on screen Doesn't mean you know shit about guns You dumb fuck What? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin Before you start telling me what to do, okay? You Valdi? I was horrified by it That's your hometown You were born right by it It probably cuts deep And I hope that it does Cause you work in an industry that glorifies violence It's more your fault than it will ever be mine Lord only knows how many crimes That you've influenced throughout your whole career Cause I've seen you kill people plenty of times yep. What do you think is gonna cause a shooting? Are you YouTube video of a gun review or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news so next time that you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it remember it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog it's you that they're trying to mimic I feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed A criminal is gonna think twice if he knows everybody has a piece underneath their clothes And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but <laughs> have you seen Chicago? And no, before you ask, I don't wanna be like Canada either And I don't wanna be like Australia, I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens Like fucking throw them in camps And there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit Cause they know that they can't Nope. If you don't think for one split second That if we didn't have our second amendment The government wouldn't overstep its boundaries And make us do shit even when we're against it You're out of your mind I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam But I for one fucking don't And why would I? What have they done? Give me a reason for me to believe them They wanna trade me a little security In exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom They don't wanna take away guns Cause they care about you And they wanna keep you safe at night They wanna take away guns Cause it's easy to control people If they don't have any way to fight. Hey buddy, what's your little AR-15 gonna do when the government comes to take it? Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded, so what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does, but if the day comes, I bet that you're gonna wish that you had something. This is the only country on earth where the people have real strength. And nowadays, with all the shit going on, it's the only thing that makes me feel safe. If there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic, all of the shit that we have is fragile, and it can snap it any second. Fuck all of the politicians, I don't trust anything they say Take the word gun out of gun control and that's all that it is at the end of the day I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit But our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship And as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one But I think that if we can send over $50 billion to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. But our kids? They're important. Just not as much as you.